Okay. Pull it out. That whole this is one thing. Okay. Now hold it. Those pull those two sides in. Straight. Like this, turn it out. Yep. Alright. So we're I'm gonna move the tail. We're gonna go in at an angle. Straighten it out. Go that far in. Go half more far in. Far. It needs to just the string should be the only thing hanging out. Okay. All right. I'll help you. Bam. Okay. You'll slowly insert it. I could probably insert it because you already got it in. Really? I can do this. Let me do this. Okay. And then doing the needle where? The right hip. Okay. So we'll do that so, last. I'm over tail. I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna put it in the right location. Oh no, sweet girl. The <laughs> okay. Right. Right in there. Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. You want to record it? Yeah. <laughs> Slow. Angle. Alright. Okay. Do you need some more room? Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Because this part, it's not that bad. Then you can, you already touched the thing. You'll do the shot. Hold the shot to the side. Right. You're just gotta have to be, you gotta pull it hard. Good. No, sweet girl. I know. Okay, that part's done. Did it right. Hopefully, you did it right. Hopefully, you did it right. Okay, now you have to do that. This is gonna hurt, sweet girl. Alright, so pull this off. Pull the green part off. Make sure the needle's on good. Okay. Right hip. Alright, I'm going right here. Yep. Hmm. And don't, she's gonna jerk, so just. Sorry, Mia. Right here. Do it fast. You got it, you got it. Good job. Sorry, Mia. Good girl. Look at the freaking chicken. Can you see him? There goes Trey. Thanks for helping, honey. Here, here. <laughs> so we just, that was step one for breeding, artificially inseminating our family dairy cow. We don't have access to a bowl anywhere. We learned how to insert the, our cedar ourselves, which is the first part. There's three steps to artificially inseminating your cow. One, you have the cedar, which is like this. It looks like a, like a IUD you'd put into like a woman where it's a T-shaped and it goes inside her for a week. Are you finishing up your grain? And we give her a shot in her right hip and we're sinking her up to be in heat as soon as the gal comes to artificially inseminate her. So this will... Okay. So the cedar will be there for a week. Then next, at the same time, next Sunday, we take it out and give her another shot in the left hip. So that's step two. And I'll try to get this all on film so you understand, so you, so you um, get a clear grasp of what it's kind of. With artificially inseminating your family dairy cow, the cedar itself that goes in her for the week and the shots you give her are extremely harmful to women of a childbearing age that may want to have children at some point. So they can, and if you are pregnant, they can cause miscarriages, they can cause some major fertility issues. So that's why Trey comes out and does it. My mom and my sister helped last year as well as Trey. And Olaf's trying to come in. And so I just, I can't really touch it. I can't wash it. I, I just stay away from it. I was able to touch the blue thing once it was inserted and I, there was no hormones at the part I was touching. Now in a week, this will put her into heat. And in a week, We'll pull it out, give her the other shot, and then three days after that, the gal comes out to breed her. Yeah, that's where we're at. Right, Mia girl? This was all so, so it was 350 last year since we learned how to do the cedar insert and the shots ourselves. It, sa it shaved off, I think, almost 100 bucks or a little over 100 bucks. Um, so I think we paid 230 this year, not including semen. Semen will be an additional, like, 
I think it was 20 bucks last year. So, but it can range between 10 and it can go up into the hundreds depending on the bowl. We're not really particular because this is a family milk cow. She's not registered. It's not, we just want another Jersey. So it should be about 20 bucks for the semen straw. Now she took on the first try last year. Are you going to take on the first try this year? We'll see. So she doesn't take when we breed her. Um, on the, we breed her on December 23rd, a few days before Christmas. If it doesn't take, we're going to wait like four months or five months. So we don't have a calf in the dead of winter next year, which I would hate to have a January or February calf here. It's, it's, we have some extreme temperatures. Even December and November can be bad in March. Well, last year we started this was was a little more dramatic because it was our first time doing it but we had the shot and I had pulled it out my sister was helping me and my three-year-old niece shot the shot all over the kitchen table right before I was about to go give it to her so we had to start the whole process over again and that's when I learned how to do the inserting of the cedar because I had to because or I'd have to pay the price again to for her to come out. I still had to pay more, but it wasn't as bad. But it ended up, I mean, all in all, she got bred and that was great. Obviously, the calving didn't end great, <laughs> if you saw that video. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.